Hi, I'm Grace. I'm 19 years old. I'm a sophomore in college and I'm from the gorgeous state of Montana in the United States. I introduced myself that way because in my climate work, I'm motivated by love for my home and a desire to protect it. I'm gonna tell you right up front what I wanna say. I believe our role as youth is not to do all the work ourselves to protect the climate, but to push for systemic change. Like most people though, I did start environmental action on the individual level. In high school, I worked on a project um, pretty much alone to reduce the plastic waste in my hometown, um, specifically in the restaurants. But while I was doing that project, I learned through research that the United States produces 500 million plastic straws every day. And so in the face of that huge number, the individual action that I was doing and like with my friends and my family and like a couple restaurants just started to seem insignificant. And so because of that, I began to think that our individual actions would be most impactful when they aim at making systemic changes and holding decision makers accountable, like making better government policy or making corporations more sustainable. The biggest piece of this now for me is pushing governments and corporations to stop burning fossil fuels. I think a lot of us uh, know this, but I'm gonna say it anyways, Fossil fuels cause climate change. They are harmful to the health of individuals and the planet. They're expensive, they're outdated. Burning fossil fuels is just stupid, honestly. One of the ways that a group of individuals can create bigger systemic change is through lawsuits. I'm a plaintiff in Held versus State of Montana, which is the first ever constitutional climate lawsuit to go to trial in the United States. So 16 youth plaintiffs, including myself, from all over the state, all backgrounds, all over the political spectrum, filed a lawsuit to protect the constitutional rights of ourselves, of Montana's youth, uh, like the rights to life, liberty, property, a clean and healthful environment. And about two weeks ago, in a historic decision, we won, woohoo! Uh, and the judge agreed with the evidence that the state's promotion of fossil fuels is violating our rights and harming young people and her ruling will hold Montana accountable for their contributions to climate change. You can learn more about our case um, at ourchildrenstrust.org slash overheated. Like I said, though, I do feel that it is wrong that the climate movement is mostly on the shoulders of youth. We're not in positions of power. We don't have time while the world is burning to earn a million dollars in order to invest it or to get elected or to invent new technology to save us all. We're busy living life. I have my first class of the semester in about an hour. <laughs> so protecting the climate should realistically be on the shoulders of adults. That being said, youth across the political spectrum, across the world, have the passion and the desire to address this issue even when our leaders don't. We understand the science, we see the climate crisis all around us and we can make change. We are making change. So our role as youth, I think, is to make sure governments and corporations are protecting and serving us and the environment. We can use our power as a community, as a generation, to support systemic shifts <laughs> towards a better future. In order to do this, I think we need three things. First, we have to know the facts. We know climate change is happening. We know it's human cause. We have the science and the technology and pathways to stop it and create economic growth at the same time. When we know facts like this, we can demand that adults move in the right direction. Second, we need to know what governments and corporations are doing, and we have to know our rights. To fix a problem, you have to identify it first. It can be kind of hard to figure out what these problems are because people are quite good at hiding them. But if you can figure out how governments and corporations are impacting you, um, and even if they're violating your, your constitutional rights, when we know these, what these actions are and these problems, we can demand systemic changes in these governments and corporations. Third, whatever you do, whether you are bringing a lawsuit or marching or writing policy or working to make your school more sustainable, find allies. These might not always be the people you expect. People who don't think exactly like you do, you may still believe that climate change is important because it shouldn't be a partisan issue. Everyone will be hurt by climate change. 
in the most cheesy way, we really are all in this together. Um, and I look forward to seeing the change we can make as a generation. Thank you. Great, what an incredible person. Her and her friends sued the state of Montana and won. I mean, magnificent women who are all using their voices and the legal system to make a difference. Let's give them another round of applause. Just absolutely incredible work. I really am in awe.